January 30th, The Dilemma of Disobedience And Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. 1 Samuel 3.15 God never speaks to us in startling ways, but in ways that are easy to misunderstand. And we say, I wonder if that is God's voice. Isaiah said that the Lord spake to him with a strong hand, that is, by the pressure of circumstances. Nothing touches our lives, but it is God himself speaking. Do we discern his hand or only mere occurrence? Get into the habit of saying, Speak, Lord, and life will become a romance. Every time circumstances press, say, Speak, Lord, and make time to listen. Chastening is more than a means of discipline. It is meant to get me to the place of saying, Speak, Lord. Recall the time when God did speak to you. Have you forgotten what he said? Was it Luke eleven thirteen, or was it 1 Thessalonians five twenty three? As we listen, our ear gets acute. And like Jesus, we shall hear God all the time. Shall I tell my Eli what God has shown to me? That is where the dilemma of obedience comes in. We disobey God by becoming amateur providences. I must shield Eli, the best people we know. God did not tell Samuel to tell Eli. He had to decide that for himself. God's call to you may hurt your Eli, but if you try to prevent the suffering in another life, it will prove an obstruction between your soul and God. It is at your own peril that you prevent the cutting off of the right hand or the plucking out of the eye. Never ask the advice of another about anything God makes you decide before him. If you ask advice, you will nearly always side with Satan. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood.